Welcome, guys. Season three of the Wine O'Clock Show. We have the gorgeous Craig Bennett oh, and damn. Denise Drysdale joining us for this season. How Keeping are you? Off. Good cheers. Yes. Cheers. Happy Friday. Well Happy well done. seven o'clock. It is the end of the week. It is time to <sighs> wind down and uh, chat about the week that was. Yeah. Now, Craig, I have to ask. I think it was. It's been called one of the. Uh, uh, biggest moments of Australian TV mm. last year when you were bringing out a cake oh. uh, for Catherine Kelly Lang and you tripped and you fell and the cake went everywhere. Was that a hoax or was that actually happened? Well, look, <laughs> true confessions, it actually happened. Did it really? And it was all to do, I think, with a badly placed glitter cannon. <laughs> you see, now you would think, wouldn't you? That a glitter cannon would be my best friend. You think that? I know, I know. I can see you thinking, this does not make sense. Craig Bennett, glitter cannon, dropping the cake. But the doors swing open. I've got to tell you, that cake was hugely heavy. And Catherine Kelly Lang's beautiful partner, Dom, who is so handsome and so dreamy, isn't he? He'd spent $400 on this massive cake. It was about the size of that poof, that one there. <laughs> And I carried it out, and that damn thing went off right up the chutney, and with that, I stumbled forward. I tried my best. If they don't tell you that they're going to go off, and they didn't tell you, no, did they? they oh, didn't. No. And you know what those glitter cannons oh, are like. That's gone up on your chutney, I too. Think I've I'm... used a few choice words. <laughs> a couple of times. It's loud, and it goes everywhere, and it's just quite a shock. And of course, a lot of people thought, oh, he's just done that deliberately. I promise you, I can't act. <laughs> I, we've just done a boy band thing today. Me in a very bad wig. I assure you, I cannot act. On the 1999 show today, Friday, Studio 10. A shocker. This is a question for both of you. Um, what's the one thing that people think about you that's absolutely not true? After you. <laughs> um, if, I, if I'll be honest, mm. I've suffered depression mm. and you probably would never pick it. I don't think people would know that. So mm. um, and if I can give advice to anybody, just don't do it on your own. Mm. Go to the doctor and or seek help. Yeah, definitely. Because um, I had it for a long time and I just lived through it. And um, finally I thought, oh, I can't stand another mm. minute of this. So I went to the doctor and she said, you'd be surprised the amount of people that try and get through it because of the stigma mm. uh, and, and wait till really late in life to do something about because it. Because we're very good at putting on a... Oh, a mask, of course. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and acting like everything's great. Yeah, yeah. but mm. um, that's about the only thing. Mm. I think people think that I'm a shameless gossip <laughs> because it. I do gossip, but I actually don't. No. That's true. He, he can keep a secret. You knew mm -hmm. about all the people that were going into the jungle long mm. before they went into the jungle. It's he true. wouldn't tell anybody. You know, so yep. he keeps secrets. He's got a lot of secrets of mine that he, he would, would never, never divulge. Never hear the now let me just. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's quite true. A lot of people tell me things. I've got a whole raft of great showbiz chums who are in all sorts of situations with their lives and, being candid, they'd make for great stories. But I would never do that. Mm. So you, mm. I am like a vault and I do keep... You say but to me, you, I don't I say think anything. No, 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 I know, it? but you, 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 you're easy to open up to. That's mm. what's fabulous about you, mm. you know. Now, Denise, I have to ask, um, how did you inherit the name Ding Dong? I worked with Ernie Sigley yeah. and Ernie had a, a secretary in the 50s when he was doing radio and her name was Denise Bell mm -hmm. and because of the bell they called her Ding Dong and so years later when we started to work together he automatically thought of Ding Dong because Denise yeah. and I'm really grateful for Denise Bell because he could have called me anything at that stage <laughs> and it would have stuck, yep. it, it would have stuck all my life and Ding Dong's, I think it's fabulous, mm. it's great. Great Love nickname. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get straight into our topics. I want to discuss, um, there's a, a mother and a child and her two children are a bit outraged this week because her husband, I'm turning 40, so I can sort of relate to this guy. Oh, you're not. You're I fibbing. Am. I am. I'm 40 You put your age way up, so we'd say, oh, no, she's not. Yeah. Really. <laughs> but he's turning 40 this year and he's planned an overseas trip and he wants to go overseas alone without the wife, without the children. Do you think he's being selfish? or No. Really? Let him go. Let them go and they'll come flying back. <laughs> but if you keep them like this, you can forget it. Wouldn't you want to celebrate your 40th with your family and your friends? No. <laughs> no. He might want to celebrate it with his mistress. <laughs> no, I mean, he's going, just he don't wants know. to go to New Zealand and spend it with his mates. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And so... He's not spending it by himself. He's fibbing. I mean, you, fib you know you're fibbing, aren't you? Really? It's no, like he's, go he's going, with, going with mates. Mm. And sometimes they need to do that. I don't see... 40 is a milestone anyway. Oh, yeah? No, no birthday is. 
Well, this, this, this brings me to the next topic where a woman um, insulted us 40 year old people um, saying that we're boring and you know, we've got no, no life basically. But this is a young girl who's just won the lotto in, a, in the UK, $1.6 yeah. million. Dollars. She's now suing uh, the, the lotto because she reckons it's ruined her life. She's, but she's gone she out. She could have given it away. And so, but then I'm thinking, well, you're suing now suing for what, more money? With, for the money that you're thinking... Oh, listen, these people, honestly... They're off their gone out. If you don't yeah. want the money, don't buy the ticket. She's gone, right. out, she's gone out and had the boobs done. She's bought two properties. She's bought the, the big flash car. No one, no one wants to be a friend, or they only want to be a friend because of the money, and now the money is the issue, and now she's suing gold She gold had no, no guts to begin with, no. To, no, nothing to work on, because if, you, if you've gone and spent... It sounds like she spent the whole lot mm. on herself... In, but if you got yeah. one point six million, I would I would probably say that you'd end up with about two hundred thousand because you'd give the rest away. I would. I'd give it to charity. I'd take so, you on holidays. He's so <laughs> generous. It's unbelievable. We would have an absolute. But why would you contemplate suing the lotteries people? How has that ruined her life? It sounds like she had a pretty crappy life in the <laughs> first she's place. She's got no friends. Like no, you know, no friends now. Boyfriends only so want to date so. her. <laughs> She's but got the all thing, that money. The thing She'll is, be it, sick of shopping next. The thing is that money does ruin people if mm. you're not used to it if mm. you, and you just get it. What they should have done with that girl is given her, her an allowance that got her through mm. so she could have a good time, but there's money there for the future. Yep. And that's the most sensible thing to do. Yeah, I think that's the same too. Like my husband often says that with the football players, you know, they get given these millions of dollars and, and these they young completely guys. completely crazy. Yeah, like they yeah. need to be sat down with a financial planner and... Exactly. You know, be told how They to need money. to sit down with a tax man, a financial planner, and then remind them that if, even if they're getting $10,000 a week, that's not theirs because they're usually paying a manager. Yep. A third of that will go in tax. Right. And so you're lucky if you... But they just hear ten thousand dollars. I get ten thousand dollars, and it's mm. yeah. Craig, now you do a bit of the entertainment report. You love entertainment reporting. You love travelling. You obviously love your wine. Is there any entertainment gossip you can give us? That last bit of a <laughs> shocking <laughs> accusation. Can you believe that? I can actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in fact, it's, it, it, well, it's it's quite a tragedy, really, because Betty Ford. Mm. I think I met her on one occasion, and she passed on shortly after that. I just remember somebody saying she raised her hands to the heavens and thought there is nothing we could ever do with him. So there you go. Um, Goss, who do you want to know about? Oh, everyone. Come on, Tam, who would you like to know about? Well, what's a bit of juicy gossip from overseas that yes. they won't see this? <laughs> oh, yeah. gee whiz. Yeah. Well, of course, the news flash came through that Elvis is dead. Oh, oh yes, I and know. is he? I, can you Did believe you hear, that? Okay, so Tom Cruise's mum died this week? Yeah. That was a bit sad. Well, it was, but I'll tell you something about that that was very interesting. Mm. Mary, I think, was her name. She was 80. Mm. And so you're going to get something now? Not been so well. But do you realise when Katie Holmes became pregnant with little Suri, Tom's mum was living over in Florida, beautiful place over there, mm. absolutely lovely, and Tom said, Mum, I just want you to come over because Katie's expected to give birth any day and you know, um, uh, I'd just like you to be there, that would be lovely. So with that, she was married, she'd uh, remarried, so her most recent husband was not Tom's dad, mm. and she never went back to Florida. And basically, Tom kidnapped his mother, held her hostage in his mansion, she became a full-time nanny for little Suri as Suri grew up, and of course she'd become uh, very much uh, inculcated with the ways of Scientology. And I must say, that erupted late this week. I think it was yesterday, Thursday, this great scandal whirling around about how Tom had basically kidnapped his poor mum and held her in the mansion. All of her friends in Florida could not get in touch with her. Oh, really? Wow. The guy who was she <coughs> was husband? still married to, yeah, yeah. and then they kind of separated because she just... It was like aliens had taken her. <gasps> One yeah, of the most that's amazing that's stories. Was this recently or like uh, like over the last couple of years? Well, she died a few weeks ago, but the news only got out earlier right. this week after that sh after she'd been sent away. Mm. But um, uh, that 2006 is when little Suri was born, mm, so that was 11 mm. years ago. Wow. So it was 11 years ago that Mrs. Cruz was kind of um, summoned to the mansion. Never and to be basically seen again. never to be seen again. I mean, she could have been taken by aliens. And considering what goes on in Scientology, <laughs> she may well have been. Guys, do you yeah. want to play a little game? Oh, we're oh, always up for a game, so long as our clothes are on. Hang on, yeah, how, yeah. Many, how many layers have you got? <laughs> <laughs> you cheat, you came prepared. 
<laughs> Last season we played a game called Never Have I Ever. We've stepped things up a bit this year oh. and um, we're going to play a game called the five second rule. Have you heard of it? No. If it lands on the floor. No, no, no. If it lands on the floor. floor. <laughs> and I've got a little goodie bag for the person who uh, wins these, this round. Oh, God. So no. I've got like this gorgeous little, there's a bottle of, bottle of uh, wine. Oh. What is we got the, the pens that you can write on your oh, glasses Oh yeah, they're a great idea. And little wine o'clock wine glasses. Oh, Oops, how fantastic. But you've basically, the, the way this works is I give you, you've got five seconds yes. to name three things. So yes. I will oh, ask yes. you a question and, and you've got five seconds. He goes first. Yep. It ticks you down, so it, give, it puts you under pressure. <gasps> five seconds. Five too. seconds. So name three things that make you itch. Uh, eczema. Eczema. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Craigie, this one's yours. Name three celebrities that are known only by their first name. Abigail, Adele, Liberace. <laughs> well done. Well done. Denise. Oh, go Name on. three things on a farm. Sheep, cows, grass. Excellent. Excellent. The grass is good. The grass, Not yes. that grass. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, name three things you can't resist. Chocolate, champagne, wine. <laughs> Do we give him that? That's like two things. No. All right, Denise. That's the third one. <laughs> Denise, name three Marvel DC superheroes. Oh, Ant Man. Uh, what's the Stripe Man? Batman and the what is he called? Superman. No, Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man. Sp look at me, Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. That's it. You got that. You were spinning a web right across your whatnots. Oh, Craggy. Name yeah. three things you find in a bathroom. <gasps> oop, oop. Oh my gosh, aftershave, cleanser and scrub. Look at you go. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Denise, name three annoying things dogs do. Lick their what's it <laughs> itch and sp spread their food everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think she just got in there. She did. Craig, name three styles of shoes. Oh, high heels, low heels and espadrilles. <laughs> I don't know. I've only got... Perfect. Yeah. Denise, name three things people love to take photos of. Dogs, cats and people. Yeah. And food. And there's like a whole list. We are neck and neck here, guys. Craig. Name three celebrity couple breakups. Brangelina, Maraca, James and Mariah and Liberace... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, no, not Liberace. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Who were you going to say? say Maraca? Is that what they were Maraca, called? Maraca, James and Mariah was Maraca. Oh, That's stop right. It. What, yeah. what, was, what was the third one you were going to say? Oh, could be any of them, couldn't it? Zsa <laughs> uh, Zsa Gabor and one of nine men. <laughs> George Sanders was one of her husbands. He's a celebrity. He killed himself in Sydney. He was it in Sydney? Yes. I he know was he committed hotel, suicide. No, he was in a hotel in Sydney. Well, I'll be buttered on both sides. <laughs> yes. And sprinkled with hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Denise, name three game shows. Family Feud, uh, Hot Seat, and the... Uh, <laughs> no. Craggy, this one goes to you. Oh, no, the pressure is on, Denise. Yes. Name three past gold Logie winners. Oh, Hazel Phillips, Lorraine Desmond, and Denise Drysdale. <laughs> do you keep yours? women. It's you don't keep yours in the, the toilet, women. do you, Denise? I picked the stuff. I haven't got them anymore. Oh. Um, when I sold everything up, I was going to sell them. Oh, really? Oh, well, I didn't think anybody really wanted them, but they, the, Rob just grabbed, he said, you're not selling those. He said, I'm having those. And then Jen said, well, I'll have the other two. <laughs> and so that, that was it. Name three things you find in a park. Kids, swings and bushes. Yep, good girl, well done. I always find dog poo in the park. That's <laughs> terrible. Craig, name three pet peeves. Three pet peeves, people that pick their nose, people that talk too fast and people that bore you to tears. <laughs> yeah. You guys are neck and neck. Uh, Denise, name three daytime talk show hosts. Ellen, <laughs> Oprah um, and uh, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> You've got like a whole panel on the studio on studio ten. You oh, didn't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming up to the last few questions. <gasps> Craig, name three sports that don't require a ball. Oh, good God! Skiing, um, swimming, and gymnastics. <laughs> um, Denise, oh. name three movies with sequels. Oh, Star Wars, Batman, and Superman. 
Very good. Oh, I think Denise has won! Oh, oh, no way! Oh, no. He was quicker than I was. <laughs> Says Denise won. Denise and what one. your phone tells you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you. what a lovely track. phone. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, we'll congratulations. But look, we we'll always do, I never like don't to we? let my guests go without saying, Craig, I've got oh, one for you. Oh, Tam, that's, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> decadent, outrageous, and it should be forbidden. Guys, I want to cheers to the end of the show. Thank you so much for coming on. That's all right. Is it over already? It's over already. My God, it's like can a trip to Disneyland. On? We can. We can sit here and chat, but Ricardo might shut the cameras down. Like, oh, is that what happens, is it? Yes. Oh dear. Oh well, there but you thank go. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks Friday, for having us. 7 p.m. And on YouTube and on Facebook. Okay. We will be there. You will be there. Or we will be square. Yes. Or are we square anyway? But we'll still be there. But cheers to the Don't weekend. Know. Yes. Cheers. cheers. Happy days. Happy. Thank you, Tam. Yes, what fun. Books, cooking and <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nose hair trimming. And thank you for having us on your couch. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having. Me.